The transition from footballer to politician is a surprisingly common one. Some former footballers have even gone on to lead their countries, such as Ahmed Ben Bella, who played for Marseille before becoming Prime Minister and President of Algeria, and Kai Leo Johansson, who won four caps for the Faroe Islands before becoming their Prime Minister in 2008. Other footballing politicians include prominent conspiracy theorist David Icke, who played as a goalkeeper for Hereford United before becoming a Green Party spokesman, and Roman Pavlyuchenko and Andrei Arshamin, two Russian internationals who plied their trade in North London before both dabbling with politics. Then there are Hungarian greats like Jula Grosic and Josef Bosic, and Brazilian legends like Zico Pelé, Romario Ambabito. Or how about Thomas Bodstrom? who played as a right-back for Swedish side AIK before becoming Swedish Minister for Justice. Clearly, there are no shortage of candidates, and those are just a string of players who missed out. Here are our seven footballers who became politicians. Jagos Lato The top scorer at the 1974 World Cup, Jagos Lato won gold with Poland at the 1972 Olympics, winning silver four years later and twice finishing third at a World Cup Finals. He was one of the stars in a golden era for the Polish game, scoring a total of 45 goals in 100 caps for his country. Lato was a talented right winger as a player, but more centre left when it came to his politics. From 2001 to 2005, he served as a senator in Poland as a member of the Democratic Left Alliance. Sol Campbell A footballer with a less successful venture into politics than most in this seven, but a notable one nonetheless. Sol Campbell first started voicing his political views publicly in 2013, just a couple of years after his retirement. The former England international was critical of Ed Miliband and announced his intention to run as the Conservative candidate for the 2016 London mayoral election. Unfortunately for Sol, he didn't make the party's four-man shortlist. Perhaps they were worried about losing the support of Spurs fans. Gianni Rivera one man who had rather more success in politics was Gianni Rivera. The Italian legend became a member of the Italian Parliament in 1986 with the Christian Democracy Party. He was re-elected in 1992, 1994 and 1996, as well as serving as an Under-Secretary for Defence and as an MEP. As a player, Rivera was a class act. A midfielder of extraordinary grace and technique, he stands as one of the game's great playmakers and won the Ballon d'Or in 1969. Rivera played over 650 games for AC Milan, winning three Serie A titles, two European Cups and seven other trophies. With Italy, he won 60 caps, won a European Championship and reached a World Cup final. Oleg Blokhin From one Ballon d'Or winner turned politician to another, Oleg Blokhin had a wonderful career with Dynamo Kiev and the Soviet national team. The once prolific Ukrainian centre-forward entered politics in 1998 when he was elected to Ukrainian parliament while serving as a member of the Communist Party of Ukraine. He was re-elected in 2002, this time as a member of the Social Democratic Party of Ukraine. Impressively, he managed all this whilst being a full-time football manager, having even taken the reins as national team boss in 2003. Mark Vilmots Like Ole Blokin, Mark Vilmots has played for his country, managed his country and served as a politician for his country. Whilst wholly successful as a player, scoring 28 goals from 70 caps for Belgium, his managerial and political career have enjoyed mixed fortunes. The attacking midfielder who played his best football for the likes of Standard Liège and Schalke entered politics in 2003, when he was elected to the Senate as part of the Reformist Movement Party. He resigned in 2005 and became national team coach in 2012, but he was sacked in 2016 after a disappointing defeat to Wales at the Euros. Vilmots most recently had a brief spell in charge of the Ivory Coast national team. George Weir The third and final Ballon d'Or winner in this seven, George Weir was a brilliant forward who starred for the likes of Marseille, PSG and AC Milan in the 1990s. Virtually unplayable on his day, Weir is a three-time African Footballer of the Year winner. Having hailed from Liberia, Weir is naturally the greatest Liberian footballer of all time. In fact, we'd have a hard time naming another one. Weir ran for president in 2005, but lost in the second round of voting. He was the vice presidential candidate in 2011, but finally broke into office in 2014, when he was elected to Senate. The former Chelsea Loney looks set to run for president once more in 2017. Victor Orban Unlike every other player in this seven so far, Victor Orban is far more famous as a politician than he is as a footballer. The current Prime Minister of Hungary, a position he has held for the last seven years, 
Orban previously played for Felkso FC. I have no doubt our Hungarian viewers will correct me on that pronunciation in the comments. Orban is now chairman of the Hungarian second division side and still takes an active interest in football. Orban is believed to be the only Prime Minister to have appeared on Football Manager, as he was on the 2006 edition of the game. So that's it for our top 7. Let us know which footballer you'd like to see running your country in the comments. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.